Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about the Mustang Solo Series of Seats for Harley. You should be looking into a Mustang Solo seat if you're wanting a seat for your ride that's going to be rider only, but not necessarily short on comfort. Now, these seats are offered for just about every single air-cooled Harley on the market today. So whether you're riding a Sportster or a Big Twin, we've got something for you. Use our bike finder, put in your bike information, and we'll make sure that we're going to show you a solo seat that is going to fit your bike, no questions asked. Installation on these, like most seats, is very easy. We're looking at one beard out of three on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. You're really only looking at one fastener on the back of the seat. Just about anybody should be able to get one of these onto their bike in a couple minutes and be riding on it. Let's tear these things apart and we'll kind of go right into what we're looking at. So in front of me here, you can see we have a Mustang. This is actually a vintage Solo. So the difference between the vintage Solo and the Solo, they're really very similar seats, but the vintage has this cool braided edge skirt on here. So this sort of harkens back to the seats of yesteryear that do have that skirt that sort of dips below to hide some of the seat hardware. It's just a very traditional look. And that's really what differentiates the vintage Solo from the Solo. So as you can see here, this is just a solo seat. This is a one-person seat. This is not meant to have somebody riding behind you. The thing about most solo seats is that they're typically very uncomfortable. Most guys who are looking for a solo wind up with a saddle that's not only shorter than a standard saddle, but it's also much, much skinnier. The solo and the vintage solo really kind of break out of that mold because they are short seats. They do leave room behind. They show off some of that fender, but they're nice and wide. This is a comfy seat. You can spend all day in this puppy. So that's really what sets the solo aside from a lot of the other other uh, one-up seats you're going to see on the market. So in terms of construction, you can see here we do have this uh, with this marine grade vinyl cover on there. Vinyl is just a great, uh, it's a great seat cover material. It holds up really well to the wear and tear, the daily rigors of riding. Mustang uses the best stuff around. These seats just hold up forever. So flipping over here too, um, you'll notice that this thing has a fiberglass seat pan. I love fiberglass pans, really nice and rigid. It doesn't lose support over time. This thing will last the life of your bike. You can see here too, Mustang uses their standard rubber cushions on here. The rubber cushions are great because they help save your paint a little bit. This actually gets the seat up off of the paint, and it also helps to isolate your can a little bit from some of the vibrations of the road. Uh, you'll notice too, the cover is held down too with these aluminum rivets. Aluminum doesn't rust, and rivets are a great way to keep the cover on the seat itself. Now flipping this thing back over, I'm sure you guys have noticed this backrest sitting next to me. Now not every single Solo or Vintage Solo is set up for a backrest. It's an option on some of the seats. But this really kicks a nice wide touring saddle into the next level of comfort. This is really easy to use. It's a toolless setup. I'm actually going to show this to you guys real fast. We'll just demo it real quick because it's that easy. You'll notice here this little, uh, this little stitched panel here, and this is the access panel for the seat. This just gets peeled back, and then the, uh, the seat back itself gets slid down into uh, the seat itself with the receptacle. And you'll see on the back here, there's these indents. And what there is actually inside the seat is a spring-loaded ball bearing assembly that allows this to be kind of pushed in, and it just drops right in, and it's height adjustable from that point. So you can really dial this in for what feels comfortable for you. So you can pop that thing in there. Like I said, it's totally toolless. And then they've even gone so far too, I'm not sure if you guys can see here, but there's this ad threaded adjuster on the back. And what this does is actually adjust to the pitch of the seat. So you can actually see this thing moving in as we dial it in. And it's super micro adjustable because you're using the threads on this thing. Again, it's just a knurled thumb screw. This thing's totally toolless. It's really, really easy. You can have this thing on or off your seat really fast. So if you want that Boulevard cruising look, you can yank this thing off and have just a totally trick looking solo seat. But if you're getting ready for a long trip, you can slap this thing in there and you have an all-day saddle you're gonna be comfortable in for a good long while. Now installation as I had said earlier really is a one beard affair. It's not very difficult on this saddle. It's not really difficult on most saddles. You're gonna have on most uh, Harleys a tongue at the front that's gonna slide into a groove in the frame and at the rear you're gonna have a single point of attachment. Depending on your model and year of bike you may have a Torx bit back there, you may be using a screwdriver, you may need a socket or a wrench. Either way, it's not going to be very difficult. One hand tool really should get you off to the races. It's not going to be a hard install for any of you. I think this saddle really is a great option. It distinguishes itself by being a solo saddle that's not uncomfortable. You really can have a one-person saddle and tour all day in this thing. My opinion is not the only one that matters, though. Click below, check out some rider reviews, do a little bit of learning. See if the Solo or the Vintage Solo might be the seat system for you. If you have a question that we didn't get to, get in touch with us. You can get a Gear Geek by email, cs at revzilla.com, or you can get us by phone, 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.